Hi friends, welcome to Cosplay Kitchen. Today, I'm Judy Hopps and we're going to be making carrot soup. So here's what you're going to need. All right, friends, let's get started and make the world a better place, because soup. Yeah, soup. Because that's safe. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to chop ourselves some vegetables, because no one just wants to get a whole sweet potato, I think. So yeah, so we're going to chop them, so always make sure the first thing that you do no one wants the skin of a sweet potato. Skin your sweet potato. Skin your carrots or peel as a normal person, not yielding a sharp object. Same. Peel everything. Once everything is peeled or skinned, we're gonna chop them up. Smaller the better, because you want all that beautiful, lovely, roasty thing that happens with the chemicals on the outside. Yes. So be sure to get these in as even pieces as humanly possible. Yeah, I realize that can be a little difficult with carrots, but do the best you can. I prefer about half an inch thick by about an inch wide. Also notice I only used half my sweet potato. The one I had happened to be huge. So I cut it in half and I'm using the rest for leftovers. Woohoo, leftovers. So once you have everything chopped up, salt, pepper, get it ready for the oven. Now that everything's all chopped up, you got your salt, your pepper, we're going to put it on our pan. Spread it out. Make sure it's only one layer, otherwise they are not going to get properly roasted. Put it in your 425 degree oven, depending on the size that you have cut your carrots and your sweet potatoes into. It can take anywhere from 25 to 45 minutes. You want them in there until you can stick the fork in and they no longer say, ow, you're in good shape. Let's get them in the oven. Give them a poke. Yep, no one's screaming. We're good to go. Keep in mind, the more well-roasted these are, the creamier your soup is going to be. Here on out, it's pretty much just a dump and go. If a dumb bunny can do it, so can you. First, chicken stock. You want it until it just begins to cover all of your veg. Always have some extra left over, just in case it's too thick. Red wine vinegar. And feta cheese. Give it a little bit of a stir, and before you ever, ever begin to heat it, you want to get your stick blender, your immersion blender, or if you don't have those, a regular blender, or a very excited beaver, and blend it before you turn the heat on so you don't splatter hot liquid all over yourself, because that's not good. Particular one, it's a key ingredient. 
Keep stirring until it's heated all the way through. Then you want to test for seasoning. And decide how thick you want it. If it's too thick for you, then go ahead and add more chicken stock. If you like really thick soup, or you like to dip your grilled cheese in it, don't add that much. Well, thanks for joining us, friends. We survived yet another week. Thank you for coming back. I hope you had a good time, and you'll join us next week. I figure it's about time to give you a cocktail for hanging in with us. So join us at the sidebar for Cosplay's Kitchen Cocktails. Next week after that, we will be cooking with Jedi. So every other week, new costume, new recipe. Once a week, we'll be making a cocktail to make up for everything else that we showed you during the month. So thanks for joining us, and don't eat yellow snow.